It's not me willingly wanting to give my energy to it. It's me compromising my own boundaries and myself yeah. for somebody else. So although as people that, you know, have a religion and that's had, you know, believe in God and a lot of our life is revolving around that, we'd be shocked when we meet an atheist person because unfortunately it's been taught to us that if you don't believe in God, you believe in the devil. Atheist people don't believe in the devil. Yeah. They don't believe in nothing. They think we just here, we popped up. How the fuck we, we got die. here? I, you gotta ask that motherfucker. I'm not atheist. <laughs> How we got here? They Sex. say it's biology. My mama. They say it's biology. How mama got here? How her mama got here? How everybody got here? All we just spawned from the fucking earth. And I get to say, I don't know. I don't got the answer. I think you should question the next family. But like, nah, man, I ain't gonna lie. Two lighters. <laughs> what? Like, what is wrong with you, little Nikki? <laughs> I, I rock, I rock, I rock out with some of the stuff, you know, with the Bible and stuff. So like, I be giving her scriptures that can help. Her. Okay. Like uh, <laughs> uh like Proverbs 626. It say right. a prostitute feed is only worth a loaf of bread. So a prostitute should be on a charge of three dollars <laughs> and not what they charge. <laughs> so no, these, these are real. I, I'm I'm bad. Bad. That's Proverbs what? Proverbs 626. Pull out your Bible and read. It, it, they said so, a prostitute's feet. So the point of this is to say that, that $40 that they so charge wait a minute. is too much. What is yeah, I mean, the raisin bread? Because raisin bread is a little bit more expensive. I dare you say about good. raisin bread. That's, that's going to be raisin bread. They ain't had raisins. Little toast and butter. That's like they ain't had raisins. No, they did. They raisins new. They, they just came but out. But if you were atheist and you don't, you can't, you can't even scroll. You can't. Uh, yes, you I can't, can. You cannot quote the Bible. You can't do that. Why? Why can't he say that? Yes, I can. That doesn't mean he don't believe still a book. But that's, he's mocking it. It's a no, mocking. No, oh, no, no, you know that? I, not, I'm not gonna lie, Chris. I, I do think that's the same as blasphemy. Blasphemy. I don't think that's the same. I'm not saying that. I said if you're mocking the Bible. If you say you don't believe in anything and then you're quoting it for your use. You're mocking it. No, so listen, because I she mean, be, we all do that. We, we be How many people do you say? Hold on, Bible says she got Bible. Bible says you remember, can't drink the Bible will kind of lead you. It'll lead you yeah. more into it. So, so it, for a it'll be helping. Who don't believe in it. I believe, uh, but but a lot of people have done that. A lot of people have read the Bible and then start falling in love with the passages in the Bible and then found their way to God. So sometimes that's, that's how God will lead somebody. You know what I'm saying? Two, two. It's like trying to find a way to tell a prophet. We picking at each other. Somebody who don't really believe in working out, they should never go to the gym. She got mad at Nobody me. Nobody said no. that. So Why would it? they go to the gym if they don't believe in working out? So now you're saying he should just go and. I just said an atheist should not quote the Bible. He ain't getting his body done. I don't want to play like that. Okay, so this ain't a bunch of cousins. All right, you. yeah, hey. Oh, the hundred thousand. Wait, let me finish on the hundred thousand. Okay, yeah. Right. He, let, let him get this off his chest, y'all, because it's, it's, his chest is big right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this happened last year, late last year. Oh, okay. so, so it's still fresh. So it's still fresh. All right. So it's still fresh. A little salt in the wound. Yeah, okay. so look, I ain't go to the I ain't go to the wedding, right? Oh, this why you ain't go to the wedding. No, no, this happened two weeks after the wedding. Okay, oh, this oh. you tricked my mama into going to the wedding, but you couldn't. Yeah, exactly. Yes. All right, okay. now Just watch that. the last episode so you can know what we're talking about. All right, okay. listen, listen. I ain't go to the wedding, right? Because the person who we was getting married to, I knew for a fact it was too soon. Mm -hmm. I said, "Yo, bro, I had a dream. I woke up in a hot sweat and said, listen, you're gonna be by yourself. <laughs> I was seeing you in the house crying, no furniture, no nothing. You're gonna be by yourself." When my dreams, when I do that shit, that's how I got rich. I yeah. knew exactly what business to start the moment I woke up. Yeah. And I said, yo, that's what that's how God talked to me. Yeah. So I told him, and he, thanks, cuz. I'm going to really think about that. Two days later, he I'm going to propose to her. Because oh, he was God. scared of her leaving because he was man. running out of money. Like, he was spending money on her crazy. All the money in the bank account. Three months, you spent $100,000 out of your God, account. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to eat shit that City you girls eat. up. What she look like? Bro, not even, not even, yeah. But the thing is, boom, you take seven days for your birthday. Nigga, we only celebrated uh, our birthday for like 30 minutes or some shit. You take seven days, she taking you around the world spending your money on your birthday. Yeah. And you spend it on her. What she do wrong? She didn't even know this man to do that. But guess what? That's he on him it. because he was tender. He was tender. He shouldn't even suck. He shouldn't even be out there. Boom, he proposed to her, whatever the case is. He said, yo, how do I tell her I'm broke? I'm like, <gasps> nigga, why the fuck you let her take all the, how, why, why you let that happen? You're supposed to control the situation. Right. She used to always say, yo, I've been in relationships with dudes who gave me allowance and everything. So he, he in his head, thinking like he got to keep up with the rich nigga. Don't nigger. do it. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, baby, don't worry about it. Just keep spinning. Even though he panicking in the background. But right. he won't come to work. Yeah. Because he's scared that she's going to be doing this and that to him. He the person that fell into those uncertain, you know, unfortunate situations mm -hmm. where a girl's in the bed while he at work and shit. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of now trauma. He's and trauma. So now he don't want to leave her side because he don't want her to no. do with some shit. You know what I'm saying? And she was coming from California. Moved down here. Had everything in the crib, whatever the case is, and I tried to be supportive. They still together? No. Okay, Coco, get me there. Get me there. Get all right, there. all right, Sue. So 
Boom. They took the hundred. They get married. They get married. Everybody pissed that I'm not at the wedding. Right okay. now, I'm this. Where did he get the money to buy, pay for the wedding? Person. <laughs> he had a couple dollars. They got married on the beach. Yeah. The beach free. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So not the beach. Free. Free. The beach free. Y'all know how the beach is. Yeah. I got married. The beach got married in Bella. He went to Miami, Puerto Rico. Where he go? Nah, just just in the backyard. Okay. They live in Florida, so it's okay. Everybody got a beach. So he made it a little. Okay. So what happened? I'm not there at the wedding, right? Because I said, yo, I cannot stand for for um union that I don't believe in. Period. You know what I'm saying? Union, I, I can't do that. Okay. But I'm the wrongest person because my mama and everybody showed up but me. You okay. know what I'm saying? They're like, you is, you supposed to be his best friend. You're a best friend. You ain't show up. Okay. You dirty motherfucking as So I guess he was holding some energy. But after his marriage, I said, yo, congratulations. I gave him a car. Yeah. I gave him a fucking car for his deal. What kind of car? Neon? That was a Camaro. Okay. Ooh, okay. You know what I'm saying? A little cam cam. And then boom, I'm checking the account one day. Uh, what? Two days before my birth, my daughter's birthday. Okay. My money. And goes, you was gonna do a, you was gonna do a thirty minute celebration because that's how you celebrate birthday. You feel me? Okay. Hundred thousand gone. <laughs> Cause what's happening? What's happening? Where my money at? I see you took it out. Whole long ass text. Good morning. I'm like, good morning. This ain't you, nigga. You wouldn't even talk like this. You don't say good morning. Oh, it's his wife. She was texting. She was texting on what his behalf. What she said? Saying, hey. I believe he's owed way more compensation than what you was giving him or whatever the case is for the business dealings that you guys have or whatever the case mm. is. We could take you to the court or I, we could just take the money that we took out of there. And I knew it was her. So immediately, um, bitch, give me my money. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Give me my money. So bitch, give me, give me my, my money. money. Yay! So, what kind of floor are you from? <laughs> Tampa. See, you ain't from the first 48 floor, Lord. Bruh. That's what it is. Bruh. Y'all from a different, y'all, y'all from a different so, part. So family members calling me. Uh-huh. Family taking side. Uh-huh. Disrespectful shit on both sides. Right. So now you got people saying, nigga, at least you got it to take. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Man. Nice. That's how family doing it. And now I'm seeing everybody true colors, the shit that they really wanted to say yeah. to me, but they was waiting for an instant yeah. to they actually like say it. Like, oh, something. maybe you was manipulate him. Maybe he was taking advantage. I'm like, I paid for everything this nigga for the last five years. He Did had to pay shit. Yeah. I ain't talked to him ever since. But guess what? Guess what happened? Man, she That's left. Can we talk guess about Guess what happened? And then he got divorced two months later. She took Damn. everything out of that fucking house and that shit that I said happened. It came true. He was, he was crying. Bed. He <laughs> called me. He said I was right. I hung up on his ass. Never talked to him since. Period. Can we talk about this though? Because I actually ran into a situation recently where I kind of had to disconnect from a couple family members. And I've disconnected from family members before lately. Let me tell you something. I've I, I don't, I'm not going to hold you. If you know me, you didn't see me around a bunch of different people a bunch of different times because once things go a little bit weird, I believe you're just there for that season and just that reason. That's just that. I'm not yeah. going to hold you forever because you got the same blood as me a little bit. How do we talk about this healing journey after disconnecting? Because all that disconnect from the disrespect, disconnect from disrespect, that sounds good and that sounds fun. And it is. like It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good feeling initially. But then after a week or so, especially if it's somebody that you talk to every day that was a part of your everyday life, yeah. you have to go through a grieving process mm-hmm. of that family member or That's that true. friend or whomever. That's true. How did you how did you really did you grieve and did you how do you how are you healing from that? Ah uh, shit, it was, it was fucking up my household. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it was fucking with my mood. I only had like three people I could trust in my fucking life. Yeah. And then boom, nigga, you knock yourself out the map. Yeah. I grew up with you. We, yeah. we grew up in the same life together. Like, what the fuck? You yeah. know what I mean? So it was a fucked up mindset. I'm talking about it was even affecting my daughter because my daughter was over here in the conversations because I had, remember it was only two days before that. I'm going yeah. down there, I'm still talking about it. Yeah. And she paying attention. So she treating her cousins like, you ain't going to take shit from me. You know what I'm saying? Because she in the mindset that, oh, shoot, if 